hi welcome to this excel tutorial david is my name in this tutorial i'm going to show us how to create a timeline gantt chart in microsoft excel therefore let's get started now we have this nice looking you know gantt chart that is showing toyota production processes and this is exactly what we want to accomplish now this is the chart and we have the data that we use to create the chart and we use the camera tool in Excel, which of course we're going to see how to use. And of course, we have this inserted image. Now let's come to the prep sheet. Now in the prep sheet, we have the following Toyota production processes. The first process is stamping, followed by welding, painting, assembling, and shipment. Now, I actually just added this shipment personally on my own. It's not what I found on the website. Now, we have the start date and the end date for each of the production processes. Now, I want to calculate the duration from the end date minus the start date. I want to see how many days will it take us to complete each of the processes. So, let's do that using a simple formula. So, equal sign. We take the value, the date value in cell C2 minus the date value in cell b2 then we control enter now the first process which is stamping will require 24 days now let's use the auto fill to fill down now you can see that for welding it's going to take 15 days painting is going to require nine, nine days assembly 26 days and shipment now having done that i'm going to come to the gantt chart here now what you have is simple just have the toyota production you know process inside this in a shape and then i have where i'm going to put the chart and of course this way i'm going to put the data from here now let's quickly do that i'm going to just select this entire data now i have this camera tool in my quick access toolbar so i'm going to click on that camera now i can see that it has actually snapped that so i'm going to click on this gantt chart sheet and just you know put here absolutely cool so we have the data snapped okay now let's now place it nicely here so this is just an ordinary picture now let's go ahead and create our gantt chart itself now i'm going to do first and foremost select an empty cell come to the insert tab in the chart group click on insert column or bar chart and we need 2d bar charts so i'm going to use the staked bar okay okay now let's just do something simple here i'm going to just right click and choose format chart area and let's just use a black color you know for uniformity now having done that i'm going to come to the chart design contextual ribbon tab and click on select data now in the select data source i'm going to click on the add for the legend entry series so click on hard and for the series name i'm going to just select the start date in cell b1 then for the series value i'm going to delete this and select the date value for the start date and we click ok next i'm going to click on additional add and again for this we need the duration as the series name and for the series value get this out and, and i'm going to select the specific date for each of the production processes so i'm going to click on ok and finally i'm going to click on the edit for the horizontal category axis labels and i want my processes stamping welding painting assembly and shipment to be the axis labels so i'm going to click on ok now we are done for moment so i'm going to click on ok finally and let's close this momentarily now our chart is looking nice so i'm going to do some few things here first and foremost i don't want to see the grid lines i'm going to turn it off and for the chart title i'm going to put it here and i'm going to link that in the formula bar just type in equal sign and click on the toyota production processes in cell a1 click ok ctrl b to make it bold and let's come to the home tab and we'll paint it in white font okay and for this we'll paint it also in white font now i can actually just use um our good friend the format painter and just paint here and it's gonna work okay this is actually too big but it's nice no problem and let's do the same thing for the date value so click on the form painter and we paint one here okay this is actually too big now let's reduce the size let's make it to be um 12 and let's make this to be um 12 also 
okay let's right click here and come here i'm gonna make it to be 12. okay now having done that i'm going to right click for the start dates all this our blue bars here right click and choose format data series now click on this bucket icon so i want to use no fill okay that's cool and i'm going to just close this for now you can actually see that it is gone and our chart is looking you know nice so right click i don't want this color let's choose this light blue color so that's fine and let's just apply some little formatting right click choose format data series and let's use um effect and i love to use 3d effects so let's use divert and that's fine for now and what i'm going to do next is just apply the data labels now we have the data labels here let's just make it to be more pronounced by pressing ctrl b to make it to be bold and that's nice now let's tidy things up can I actually say that this is quite too long let's use something nice in you know, a nice date format so just right click on this and choose format axis now in the format axis i'm going to scroll down and choose number we actually want you know number formatting that contains dates and let's change this date type to something um, nice let's just use month and year okay i think this is looking good and finally let's grab this control x to cut and let's come to the gantt chart and let's paste in here and let's you know tidy things up here let's just expand the chart to sit nicely all right okay so you can actually see that our gantt chart is ready now you can actually just you know ch check the each of the series you can actually see that this is actually pointing to duration and this is stamping so stamping requires 24 days which is accurate and the welding requires how many days 15 days painting nine days assembly 26 days and shipment 32 days so this is how to create a timeline gantt chart in microsoft excel i hope you enjoyed this video if you do comment like share and consider subscribing thank you and bye for now cheers